does concrete have to be gray or is concrete always gray? Are there other options here? The short answer is there are other options, but they're not typically used because it would disrupt the economy of yield, which is one of the primary reasons that we use concrete for construction and other applications. So economy of yield for concrete, what does that mean? It just means concrete's cheap. It works really well, it lasts a long time, and it's not a lot of money. The problem here is if you want to deviate from that classic gray color associated with concrete, you can do so, but it increases the cost, not by a little bit, orders of magnitude more. The color of the concrete that you're familiar with really comes down to the cement component in the mix. You have water, you have cement, you have sand, and commonly you have gravel, and that's what constitutes concrete. The cement component being gray is the reason why that concrete ends up being gray. What I want you to picture with this, and, and see here this example of a white cement versus a gray cement, it is something that you can do. These are intense pigment colors. If you would imagine, you know, in a white cement, if you were to add a couple of drops of food coloring to this, what do you think would happen? And you might picture, well, it would color it dramatically, but that would be incorrect because these are intense pigment colorations onto themselves. So if we wanted to change this color from gray, or we wanted to change this color from white, we would have to do something fairly drastic in terms of adding iron oxide pigments or something to that degree to get it to change from this base color. So why don't we see more white concrete construction versus gray? Again, this just comes down to economy of yield. We have gray, it kind of wants to stay gray. We have white, it costs a lot more money, but it's also a better platform to start from if you want to do intense integral color applications like this red guy that you see back here, that's made from a red iron oxide integral color added to a white concrete mix to achieve a really bold, dramatic red finish color. If we were to do the same thing with the more cost effective and widely available gray Portland cement versus the white, you wouldn't achieve such a dramatic coloration in the finished result because the gray tends to permeate and stay throughout. So the shorter answer is, is that yes, you can do different colors other than gray by starting with a white Portland cement base and then adding colors to that. But in general, you don't do it because it costs so much more. Like you can't get a concrete truck to ar arrive at your house with, you know, a few yards of white concrete tumbling around in the back. That's not just, that's just not an option that exists. They only offer gray because of the economy of yield. In short, what's the difference between these two? They're essentially the same thing, except the white one has less iron oxide in it. Through removal or making sure that it's not part of the process itself, it has less iron oxide. Iron oxide is very dark in color, so when mixed with the other ingredients of the cement product, yields a finished result which has been tinted to a gray color. So you can spend a little bit more in a more selective refining process to use white cement, but again, the cost is just so much greater. It's commonly only done for decorative concrete applications. I hope you found this information helpful.